I was supposed to spend my weekend having another midlife crisis, but instead I have to make a video about this. This is the low free touch wireless mouse. Before I get into the negatives, I guess I should point out the positives of this product, and it has really nice packaging. This packaging is really nice. They know how to package it. Now this is the drop page for the product, and you'll notice that it mentions that it merges the two worlds of mice and mechanical keyboards together. This is an innovative accessory that takes two multi-unit keycaps, rotates them vertically, and puts them in the standard left and right clicking positions to give you a decidedly keyboard feel in your mouse hand. And looking at the pictures posted on the drop website, you would think that that is what this mouse is, that it is a mouse that uses two shift keys in the left and right click using mechanical keys and you can hot swap them. That would be an assumption that you would make. That is of course unless you notice the note on the bottom there saying keycaps on both the left and right button are only interchangeable with low free specific keycaps. Now I'm not sure if that note was posted there when I bought this product but I am fairly certain that if I saw that note I would not have made that assumption about this mouse. But that's getting into spoilers, so let's talk about the mouse itself. As I've said, the mouse comes in this really nice box. And it even has this tiny little layer of foam inside. It's trying really hard to pretend it's a mechanical keyboard. You get an accessories box, some paperwork, a thing written in Chinese, and a QC pass card. The accessories box is just a cable for your mouse. I'm surprised that it didn't come with a keycap holder to be completely honest. I'm so used to getting those with everything I buy. But this cable is nice enough. It is USB-C to USB-A. As for the mouse itself, this thing looks really cool. This thing looks nothing like a gaming or office mouse, and it has its own very distinctive visual identity. From the top it looks like it takes two shift keys, and I do wish that the side buttons were also mechanical. I'm pretty sure they are not. On the right side there is also this text which we'll get back to later. And on the bottom, you have your USB dongle if you want to use the USB dongle for wireless. It's actually really hard to take out, but you also have the option of using Bluetooth wireless as well. The bright side of it being hard to take out is that it is also not going to fall out no matter what you do. To turn the mouse on, we just toggle on the switch at the bottom, and the button to the left of it changes the wireless connection modes. And once we turn it on, you can see that the black part on the top of the mouse is actually a screen, and it shows you your current DPI, your battery level, and how you're connected. In this case right now, it is connected to Bluetooth 1. Pressing the button on the bottom of it is supposed to change your DPI, but for some reason, most of the time it doesn't do anything. If you press really slow and hard, it goes through more often, but even that doesn't really guarantee it'll work, unfortunately. Luckily for me, I'm not someone that changes their DPI very often, so I would prefer this than having a button that is too easy to trigger and triggers accidentally. Unluckily, this mouse is not very smooth. I've made sure that there is no plastic stuck to the bottom of the feet and I've tried different surfaces, but it's just an average smoothness mouse. Don't buy this expecting the smoothest mouse possible. But now onto the fun part. Using a keycap holder, you can remove those two shift looking keys and you can see that it is not a normal shift key. There is a hole in the shift key to make up for the mouse wheel, and that the keycap stem hole isn't in the center of the key, so you can't use a normal key. And it's also angled down, so even if you cut a hole out of your keycap, it would be at the wrong angle. Thanks to this scroll wheel, which by the way cannot tilt left and right for some reason, you can't actually replace this with a normal key, and you also can't put a custom switch in there because that's a normal mouse switch and not a mechanical keyboard switch like you would think it would be. The same applies to the left side and the left click. The, the holes once again are not centered in a way where you could actually put a keycap on there. And I don't understand why there's a second click stem when the, it doesn't make any sense. These are the same click. Pressing down one presses down both of them. And that's probably why this is currently sitting at a 1.7 out of 5 on drop.com. People are complaining about the product page being misleading and that you can't return it because you bought it from drop and it goes through low free. So because you bought it on drop, it is unable to be returned. 
the customization aspect of this mouse is extremely limited and it doesn't even have any cool features. It can't- the scroll wheel doesn't even tilt. Who makes a mouse whose scroll wheel can't tilt? Why would you do that? Now here's the thing, this mouse actually does have some custom keycaps it can go with. The low free website sells some custom keycaps and this review is slightly wrong when they say that you can only buy the custom keycaps when you buy the mouse. I can definitely understand why they would come to that conclusion though, because if we take a look at their website, you'll see that first of all there are actually two versions of this mouse. You have the tofu version and the block version. I'm not sure why the block version isn't on drop. But more importantly, for an additional $10, there are additional keycaps you can get. You have the Dear Kitty, Banana, Pharaoh, Rush Street, and Wonderland. Unlike Drop's website, the low free one actually shows this mouse with pictures of the keycaps off of it. They also show the custom keycaps on there, but more importantly, they show the side of the keycaps and the fact that those switches are not hot swap. So someone at Drop just chose not to include the relevant pictures I guess, because going into it if you know what you're getting, apparently you're very happy with it, those reviews are actually pretty good. Now if you want to get those custom keycaps after having bought the mouse, you actually can. You just go to the keyboards section of this website, which lists mouse as well for some reason. And on the second page, you will find the entry for those custom keycaps. For some reason, it is in the keyboard section for $20 and not in the keycap section. If you go to the keycap section of Low Free's website, you will not find these keycaps, and that is why I can understand why that person made that mistake in their review on Drop's website. But we haven't even gotten to the worst issue, and that is that this mouse just sounds and feels terrible. Can you hear how rattly this thing is? Do you hear the springs in this mouse? Well guess what, you can feel it as well. Anytime you press down on the buttons, you can, you can feel the entire mouse just vibrating with it. Don't buy this mouse from Drop. Just don't. Anyways, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I apologize for the off-brand nature of this video. I swear I'm not going to do more mouse reviews, so don't worry about that. But I really felt like someone had to make this video. Subscribe if you want to see me do some actual keyboard content, and uh, drop if you are listening and watching this video. If you ever want to sponsor a video of mine, do let me know. I am always willing to take some money, especially since I'm going to be talking about 20-year keyboard soon anyways. And let me tell you, that is not going to be a cheap video to make. So I'll see you then. Bye.